I've decided that today you go, you're going to get one vegetarian meal so you can, you know, like light it up a little bit on yourself. This is menu number 12, penne, 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 I don't know, spicy pasta, menu number 12. Uh, I hope I'll get a lot of uh, props with the main meal because I doubt it will be sufficient for me and I am hungry. The package is not looking promising, it's a little bit small, I know. The strange smell is coming out of here. Something like chocolate. I'm afraid something is perforated. Nothing spilled. Let's get rid of this unnecessary stuff. Uh, beverage bag. Heater, ration heater. Accessory pack. White wheat snack bread. Alright. Chocolate peanut butter. <laughs> Chocolate peanut spread actually. Now you're talking. Carbohydrate electrolyte beverage powder. Tastes like rape. Tabasco. Mm -hmm. This will, this is what is smelling. Uh, first strike nutritious and en energy bar chocolate flavor. It's so strong that it comes out of the package, which is not perforated anywhere. So it's pretty tasty, I guess. Not raisin mix, but the big one. And the main course, spicy penne pasta. We'll see what, what, what we're gonna do with this. And the spoon. Okay, uh, la, 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 la. I will just go uh, heat up the main meal. I'm gonna put it in the microwave. I don't have time to fool around with the uh, flameless ration heater. So I'm just gonna do it the old fashioned, civilized way. I'm gonna heat it up in the micro microwave. Just one second. You see, this is a problem with vegetarian meals. You can try as hard as you can, but they will never, never be like, let's say, beef shredded in barbecue sauce, just waiting to be heated up and served and be excellent. I've I've heated up heated it up in microwave pretty good, and still it hasn't lost this, uh, let's say, artificial look. You see. This is all still piled up in one ch in big chunk. This, let's call it sauce, did not become liquid. And actually did here, but not here. And I don't know, smells really bad. Also, every vegetarian meal I've had smells really bad. All, I cannot say, usual meal also, some of them smell bad. But vegetarian ones are smelling extra bad. And I'm not saying that because I'm a non-vegetarian uh, meat eater, but because that's how the thing is, things are. I suppose they're putting more conservants or some some chemicals inside it for some reasons, I don't know why. Uh, it smells like, you know, like some bad, bad old um, syrup for coughing when it goes bad, you know, it's terrible. Also, we got Tabasco with this, and I should put Tabasco all over it, but I bet it would be even worse, because I'm not a lover of the too hot cuisine. So basically, we have to stick with this. So if you're a vegetarian and you are in the army, try eating some other meals, because this is, I don't know, it's average, but badly average, you know? Yeah. I'm really doing my best, guys. Because things are like this, people are hating MREs, actually, you know. I won't even go further than this, because it's, it, it, it's a shame, sorry. I also thought that heating it up above average would do some good to the meal, but it didn't. So, just tossing this aside. We have a lot of chocolate here. 
chocolate flavor bar and chocolate peanut spread. We have bread and nut raisins. So let's get on with it. I'll go first with nut raisins. This does not look, look like a mix to me. It looks like peanuts. Much better now. Peanuts and grapes, maybe almonds, maybe. Basically they go by the price, you know, what's the cheapest is the most uh, common, then the grapes that are less common and then the almonds that are very rare. So there is one almond. Now let's go with the heavy, heavy part. Chocolate peanut spread. And for some reason it's very watery. Hmm. I wonder what happened here. Yeah, it's okay. And with this one you cannot go wrong because it's always like this. It's always hard and uh, it's always stiff like uh, hmm. <laughs> like you know what but not as chocolatey uh, let's go it's sprinkled with some things let's see what this is crisp rice this um, spread this this, this sprinkles all over it it's crisp rice and you can see that it's a big, a big chunk of chocolate actually and it's pretty nice. It tastes really good. And the last addition is this um, alien drink. Let's try it. Well this is everything but the grape. This is Gatorade, gasoline, I don't know somebody's feet, uh, lots of sugars, and uh, what the f It smells like some perfumed motor oil, actually. I mean, it's interesting, but I don't know why, why, why would anybody produce this. You know, it's like funny, not anything else. Well. Well guys, this is the biggest disappointment since chicken pesto pasta. That one was terrible, but still it had better extras than than this one. This uh, menu number 12, penny spicy pesto, well it's one thing, sure it's avoidable. And it should be avoided uh, because everything is just man, terrible. Except the, ch the, the ch chocolate spread, but even it was you know, liquefied and what the fuck. And uh, I don't know, this blue Gatorade ring is terrible for me. I mean, all, all these things that I'm saying are my opinion, so it doesn't actually have to be that way for you, but I don't know, you can try and see for yourself, especially the main meal, which is uh, gross. I mean, this is not some, it's not like space cuisine or something, but if guys are on the field, you can at least make their food as half as decent, you know. Not this junk, terrible food. Ah, Basically, if you see the 12, the menu number 12, just throw it away because you're not going to be happy with it. Until the next time, see ya.